When I transferred to Wake Forest, I mean, they just took me in. It was like family. It was like home. The mark of any man is what you leave behind. And we are all the better and the richer for Larry. There are a lot of us who are standing on his shoulders. A lot of us who have been able to accomplish what we've accomplished because of him. I'm surprised that you were able to cajole him into talking about himself. He doesn't do it often, he did it, and he doesn't do it very well. Goodness. <laughs> I have a, a picture that sits in the, in the science building. It said, Dr. Hopkins, do you realize you're the first African-American to graduate from Wake Forest with a degree in chemistry? And I said, no, I, I didn't realize that. I, you know, I just went to school, I went to class every day, and played on the football team. And I didn't didn't realize that things would work out the way they were. I met Larry in the spring of 1970 in front of Waite Chapel. At that time, I don't believe there were more than 30 black students on campus. All of us were real close because we had to band together. We tried to set examples for the young folks who followed us, really. His dad raised him with the military tradition, doing things the right way, knowing what to fight back at and, and what to let roll off his back. There were times when we had Afro-American society meetings and we'd be in an uproar about something. And then he would speak and everybody would stop and listen. You would never know that he was as good an athlete as he was because he always wanted to be known as a good student first. When I would see him on the football field, I, I would say, well, who is that? because he was just a burst of fire. Larry Hopkins was one of the all-time great running backs at Wake Forest University. In fact, he scored the winning touchdown against North Carolina in 1970, which led us to win the ACC championship. Anytime you win a championship for the first time, it is significant. And that championship has been celebrated down through the years. He transitioned from being a world-class athlete to being a world-class doctor with great ease. We needed someone who understood the culture and the pressure and the problems of black women and how that related to medical care. I realized that uh, I could contribute so much to not just the women, but to all of society, really. I don't think he became a doctor by accident. I think it's a calling for him. He understands that to build a generation, it's like building a wall, and you do it one healthy, well-educated, well-loved child at a time, and, and, and that's what he does. There's a great disparity of health outcomes in Winston-Salem, particularly among minority populations. The 27105 community was known to have a lack of medical presence. The obstetrician gynecologist, for the most part, saw patients with insurance, patients with money, and we didn't have a clinic in, in that part of town in, in East Winston. And the thought was we could give new babies a, a better start if we provided care to their moms before they became pregnant, not just during their pregnancy. I just wanted to do the best I could as far as extending obstetrical, gynecological care to a segment of the population that was really just more or less cut off. Whatever I can do to, to help others makes life worth living. He personifies pro-humanitate. Larry has uh, been on the Board of Trustees for almost 30 years and it's meant a great deal to him. I mean, Larry's role on the board has been to be the champion for those causes and for those people, to African Americans, to women, to minorities. He represents Wake Forest in all the best ways. And I think he uplifts our students I think many of us who've trained under him remember the time he handed us a scalpel and said, okay, doctor, keep the patient in the focus of what we're doing. In my opinion, he is a ideal representation of what a deacon student is. He's been impactful for thousands and thousands of people. It's probably immeasurable, the impact he's had. 
I told my son I'd like for him to grow up to be like Dr. Hopkins, be, be like your Uncle Hoppy. Do your work and serve others, and he's done both. And so therefore, he has fulfilled his mission for being a good Wake Forest graduate. Larry deserves this award because he has given so much to this university. He has given himself. He did find a home, and he never left that home.